New details tonight. A family is firing back at the state who said they would have helped them fight their insurance company, but the family said they didn't. We told you about the family, the Rapkin family, who had their roof heavily damaged in Hurricane Ian. And they've only gotten a small amount of money from their insurance company in order to repair it, so the family looked for help. They went on 60 Minutes hoping to find a solution, but there's no simple fix. Link News anchor Claire Galt in the studio now. Claire, if the state said they would have helped, why won't they? Chris, because the Rapkins filed a lawsuit. When State Chief Financial Officer Jimmy Petronas confirmed the criminal investigation, I asked him what advice he had for the Rapkins and others trapped in a fight with their insurance company. Petronas told me, do not file a lawsuit first. Come to the state for help. Well, the Rapkins did go to the Department of Financial Services, and they told me that did not work at all. This is the room my son stayed in, and it used to be an office. Just standing in this bedroom gets to Jeff Rapkin. You have all these memories from a home and this could have been saved. All they had to do was cover the top. It pains Jeff to see the mold growing on the walls, coating the ceiling, the insulation. <laughs> Hurricane Ian whipped the roof right off the Rapkins home. You see it blow away in this video. And two years later, there is still this gaping hole. We were living in this house that, that we would lie in bed at night thinking, is it going to crumble underneath us? Are we going to die tonight? So we had to leave. And who can blame them? There you go. All right. No, we can't lift this. Hey. When it rains, water pours down through the house. Now, Jeff and his wife, Ginny, live in an apartment. All because they say Heritage Insurance refused to pay their claim. What's happened here is wrong. This is a lack of common human decency, a lack of humanity. We're out of savings, we're out of money, and we've spent everything. He was really nice, he was thorough. And the Rapkins went on 60 Minutes Sunday and accused Heritage of changing their licensed adjuster's initial damage report. Jordan Lee determined there was $231,000 worth of damage, starting with the roof. But Heritage sent the couple a check for 15 grand. After watching the story on 60 Minutes, Florida's chief financial officer, Jimmy Petronas, told me his office can't do much to help the couple because they filed a lawsuit instead of working with the state's Department of Financial Services. As soon as they hire an attorney, then it's in the court system. We can't do anything. And that's why I just tell people, if you've got a problem, call our office. You can always hire an attorney. You can always hire a public adjuster, but we offer a lot of services at no cost to the taxpayer, which we're very good at. That's not Jeff's experience. He filed this report with the state's Department of Financial Services in February of 2023. Have you heard anything from the state? Crickets, nothing. Silence. Absolute silence. Um, I filed a second uh, complaint with DFS. I've gotten nothing. Two months later, Jeff and Jenny took matters into their own hands. They filed a lawsuit against Heritage. Jeff is a lawyer, an adoption lawyer who is representing himself. You told me you don't think you're gonna win the lawsuit. Oh, I'm gonna lose, yes. Now I'm in insurance land and they're throwing out rules and laws at me that I've never heard before and I'm struggling to keep up. That trial is set to begin in less than three weeks. As for the Rapkins claim, no one responded uh, to their complaint from the state. I asked Petronas to look into it. He told me he would. Today he is busy responding to victims of Hurricane Helene.